Any other equipment that I've used and really helped me get better at yakitori, I want to share them with you so that you guys can improve your yakitori game much quicker than I ever did. Hey Yaki Gang, yakitori got here. So over the course of the three months since launching this channel, it's been very fun to see the growing demand and interest for making yakitori at home. So, so far all my videos have been tutorials on how to make yakitori, but today I wanted to change it up and do my first yakitori equipment unboxing and review video. So does an unboxing video officially make me a YouTuber now? If you've been following me for a while on my Yakitori Guy Instagram or this YouTube channel, then you're probably gonna be very familiar with my item that I'm about to unbox today. So for our first video we have here, the Orange Barbecue Grill by Live Art. This is the same model grill I've had for over six years now. And it's also the same type that I use for all my private dinners and now YouTube tutorials. I can swear my entire yakitori life and my career to claim that because of this girl, I learned how to yakitori, I have developed and I continue to grow my yakitori skills. And I love this girl so much, I believe in this girl so much that last year I asked LiveArt if they could make me a discount code to offer that to Yaki Gang. And for a fact, I know that hundreds of Yaki Gang have this girl, either this orange one or this black one that I use in my other videos to basically learn and develop their yakitori skills. And I wanna say that for dollar for dollar, among all the girls out there right now for yakitori, electric, gas, and charcoal, dollar for dollar, this is the best girl out there to help learn yakitori and improve your yakitori game at home. It's how I learn quickly, and I believe it'll benefit you guys if you guys start out with this grill. So I bought my orange barbecue grill from Amazon six years ago, but you can also buy it from their website. Just Google Live Art Orange Barbecue Grill. They ship out of Los Angeles. It's free shipping to the 48 continental US states. Arrives within a few days. And that's also where you can use my discount code for 15% off. And if you wanna know what the discount code is, make sure to watch to the end of the video. So here's what the box looks like. It's about 18 inches wide. Simple, sturdy packaging. There's images on here of basically suggested things you can cook. We got some steak here, some salmon, and some hamburgers. We also have some yakitori on here, but it is on a charcoal grill, but it's okay. We know that this grill can cook this, so that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and open this up. User manual, one in English and in Korean. So Live Art, this is a Korean company right here. So we got the English and Korean manual. Here, this is the metal grill top for the yakitori, or I guess anything you wanna put on top. It's a basic cord. I believe this is a, it's a 115 volt. This is the, the tray where the, the fats and the oils are gonna drip. It's a very simple design. Basically the housing right here is plastic. It kinda has a handle so you can carry it. The main body is colored orange, it's metal. And we got some pictures of looks like maybe toast, squid, sausage, some scallops, shrimp, bacon, pork belly, steak, fish, and maybe some kind of veggies. But right here, very orange as the name implies. So on top, we got the, the grill, the mesh part right here. This is a standard height position. I often cook it in this position. However, you can flip this over and it can go to the lower position, getting you closer to this heating element right here. So this is just basically electric coil and this gets pretty hot. I've actually burnt my hand on it one time. What makes this, you know, a yakitori grill is, yes, it's not charcoal, it's not gas, but yakitori is different from cooking in the oven or cooking on a pan because you're cooking with indirect heat, basically heat that's rising up, that's not touching the meat. And as the meat cooks and the, the fats drip, onto the coil, it sizzles and creates a smoke that's gonna wrap basically your yakitori or anything you're grilling. So if you guys are curious how much space this is gonna take in your kitchen, this will be about five inches tall, about maybe 16 inches long, the width of about eight and a half. Now I wanted to compare this with the black grill right here. 
So these are the same exact grill, except this is sort of the, the larger one that came out, I wanna say about a year and a half ago. This one has been around probably, you know, maybe seven, eight years, maybe longer. So I've had this one, this type for a while. I bought this one about a year and a half ago. So as you can see, a little bit longer. This one's about 18 inches. Now the most important aspect that I care about is the, the surface area. So this one is, looks about 11 and a half wide by seven and a half. So 11 and a half by seven and a half. And this one is 14 by eight. So I think this might be a better way. So you can just see the difference right here represents the larger, maybe you can fit about four extra skewers on this one. And people ask me, oh, which one should I get between the, the black and the orange one? And I will say, for like a single person or like a couple in a smaller, maybe urban apartment, I think the orange one will do. It's $10 cheaper. If you have more people in your household or if you have a bigger place, the black one will do. But they both basically do the same thing. This one, you can just put two more skewers. Actually the top, it's a little bit uh, wider as well. So you might be able to squeeze in another two up here as well. So I would say you can put up to four to six more skewers on this one. So it might be easier to use, but either one of these, you can't go wrong with either one of these. If you guys, if you get this and you wanna cook more, go ahead and buy another one of this or the black one, or uh, you can also, there's other grills, like the gas grills, you can use this in the gas grill. So, so much room to grow. You can't go wrong with either one. So the turning on is just a switch on the side. You just can see, lit up. So we know it's on, whatever coating it is sort of a burning smell, but don't be alarmed. That's just how it is straight out the factory. Now, this bottom tray right here, we do need to fill it up with water. And that's gonna capture all the, the chicken or yakiniku or pork belly bacon drippings. If you don't fill this up with water and all of it just ends up getting filled up with oil, it is a fire hazard, so make sure to fill this up with water. So about after 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds, it's at full piping hot temperature. So this is ready to cook. And that's one thing that I love about electric grills. One, you can use it indoors because it's not creating the smoke or the fire, that carbon monoxide preventing you from using it indoors. But it's that on and off switch. It's so convenient that I can just turn it on within a minute just throw something on there. And yes, it is not gonna create that best bincho tan flavor, but I, I can only do that outside or on the weekends or when it's bright outside. But this really allows me to just cook anytime, even when it's raining or it doesn't snow here, but even if it's snowing out there, you can use this indoors. Electric does not mean that you're cooking it on a microwave, that it's gonna be this plain dull chicken. What yakitori is, it's literally about getting something hot enough with indirect heat, so you're not putting it directly on a pan, but with that air rising, that heat, get something hot enough so it starts dripping juices, drop and hit the hot element. So whether it's charcoal or a gas rail, or in this case, a hot electric coil, as the juices drip and touch basically right here, the orange, it's glowing orange right now. When it touches that, that's when it sizzles and creates the smoke that's gonna cover the chicken and that's basically what yakitori is. It's not as hot as charcoal but you're not gonna be able to use charcoal indoors and I also like the fact that the temperature is gonna stay consistent with no flare-ups because there's no fire making it ideal for beginners and people who also like to entertain as you can leave this for a second to go maybe do some dishes or have a beer come by with your friends and you can still come back and you're not going to come back to burnt flared up skewers so that's just one thing that i like about the electric grill that on and off switch if i want to turn it on turn it on within a minute it's ready to go i think i can turn this off and that's something that i cannot do with my charcoal even if the charcoal grill just tastes better i can only do it outside it also takes about 20 to 30 minutes just to get up to the temperature to use. And you can't just turn off the charcoal right away. Electric, gas, charcoal, they all have their pros and cons, but this one, it's really easy to use. I really like using this. So this is my basically daily grill. And then on the weekends, that's when I'm using my gas or charcoal grill. So let's go ahead and start cooking on this. 
So I have some skewers here. This is not chicken, however. This is maguro. And this is also negima, which you guys know the name. Negima is basically negi is onion and ma is in between. So negima is chicken in between onions. However, the word negima, historically I have been told that it comes from the word actually negima is the negi, but ma is from the word maguro. So this is negi ma, negi maguro right here. So let's go ahead and stick this on. So it's sizzling, basically it's nice and hot. Some salt on there. I've never made negima with this maguro before, so this is my first time. I'm just gonna basically spray some sake, treat it as though it's a chicken yakitori. So this has been on one side for about, I wanna say this one probably at this point, one and a half to two minutes now. So it looks pretty cooked on one side. I could even see that it's already gone through halfway, so let's go ahead and flip this. So yeah, these are, these are cooking up. And this is uh, basically just bunches of sashimi, tuna. So I can cook this pretty much raw. Mm. It's different from the, the chicken flavors. Definitely got that grilled fish smell going on. Just some tare for flavor. I'm not gonna dip this in my container because I don't wanna mix the fish flavor into my chicken tare. Yep, right when I can feel and smell the tare cooking up, this is good to go. All right, this is negima. Basically negi and maguro, negima. So that's how this grill works. All right, let's try something different. So for this demo, I wanted to test out how quickly it's gonna take to toast a piece of bread. So I'm gonna have a timer here, and this is on the top position. Let's go ahead and put this down. Start the timer. So this is at one minute, right here. So that's what it looks like at one minute. And this is at two minutes. So you guys see a difference between one minute and two minutes. So about two minutes, you know, whether it's bread or even chicken meat, you can burn. This, this is gonna get hot. So definitely keep that in mind. So this is in that lower position, about eight millimeters shorter. So I flipped over the grill. I'm gonna put these bread on. So I know for a fact, I was doing some temperature checks earlier and this lower position is definitely much hotter. So let's see what it's like at 30 seconds. So this is at 30 seconds. Okay. So it's, it's somewhat brown right here. Not all the way toasty, but definitely a little toasty. And let's see what this is like at the one minute mark. All right, so at one minute mark, it's definitely already, you see the, the black, it's pretty much toasted, burnt almost. I don't think I wanna go on for two minutes basically at this point. So stop it at one. And then we'll let this side that we flipped over at 30 seconds, we'll let it reach a minute 30 and see what that looks like. This is a minute 30. All right. So this is one minute at the high position, one minute at the lower position, two minutes at the high position, and basically somewhere around a minute, 25, minute 30 at the low position. So you can just see in the low position, it's definitely darker, much more cooked at the same time of one minute. And even at a shorter time, we got essentially the same color going on. So that's sort of the temperature difference if you go between high and low. If you wanna achieve a little bit hotter temperature, it's definitely possible by going on the low position. So when I use this thermometer, and I know this is not the most accurate thing, I get a reading about maybe 450 to 490, somewhere around there within the coil. So that's how much potential heat this thing can have. So definitely not as hot as the gas or charcoal, but it's hot enough to cook chicken. So as I've said, I've had this orange grill for over six years now. I cook obviously yakitori on it, I cook breakfast toast, do a lot of grilled fish, yakiniku on it 
pretty much always stays in my kitchen. It's usually just on the stove, even when I'm not using it, I don't really have a reason to put it away because I wake up in the morning and I'm gonna start cooking toast on it. At night, I'm gonna be cooking yakitori on it. So it's always there. I wanna say this grill to me is sort of, uh, if this is sports, this is like my home court advantage. It's just, I'm so used to it. I can consistently cook on it. And every time I practice on this, if I go on another grill, on my gas grill or my charcoal grill, any new technique or lessons I learned from this controlled atmosphere using this live art grill, I can then apply it to the charcoal grill. So it's definitely been really advantageous for me to have sort of, sort of a consistent thing to always come back to. And I have a few of these electric, I have some gas grills, I have a few charcoal grills now, and they all have their pros and cons. However, as a beginner grill or as an everyday grill and this is something that even i can use every day i definitely recommend this as your first grill to start out because the more you cook yakitori the more convenient it is to cook yakitori at a controlled state then you get better and better and better on it and whatever you learn on this as i said it can be applied to either the gas grill the charcoal grill or even if you're in a pinch and you're cooking at a at a fire pit at a campfire or you have to somehow make yakitori on a pan or oven everything you learn in here it's gonna apply to that so at especially for the price the dollar per dollar you can't really beat this so definitely i recommend this live art grill right here this is my first yakitori equipment unboxing and review video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to do more of these. Basically, I wanna continue doing tutorials so you guys have more things to cook, but also any of the equipment that I've used and really helped me get better at yakitori, I wanna share them with you so that you guys can improve your yakitori game much quicker than I ever did. I'm still learning and hopefully you guys can learn along with me. If you have any questions or comments about this grill or any feedback or suggestions about unboxing videos or reviews or anything else that I should review, let me know in the comments or just message me anytime on Instagram. I promise you guys the discount code at the very end. So very easy. As you guys guessed, it's going to be yakitori guy. This all one word. Use it for 15% off on the LiveArt website. This one is $51 plus tax, free shipping. I mean, you can't beat that. Just Google Live Art Orange Barbecue Grill and you'll get to their website. Either for this orange barbecue grill or the black version of this, 15% off, just use Yakitori Guy. All right, so looking forward to, whether it's the uh, Yakitori equipment reviews or tutorials, looking forward to doing more of these videos. So I'll see you guys in our next lesson. All right, bye guys.